Hello guys, I hope all of you are doing well. I'm Dr. Ranjan, your pharmacology faculty and what is today's session all about? Let's find out guys, right? So guys, as you can see, today's session is all about uh, a session that I conduct once or twice every year and that is something I fondly call as weekly pharmacology. So many of you guys who had been following me for last one year or so, you guys would have a fair idea about what is weekly pharmacology, how we do it. But then there are lots of new students who have no idea what is weekly pharmacology or how is it going to benefit us or how am I supposed to use it. For those students, I'm recording this video to give you a brief uh, you know, introduction into what is weekly pharmacology and how is it going to propel my subject, a vast subject, a volatile subject like pharmacology, right? So basically, first of all, let me tell you, in these sessions, I'm not going to teach you these topics. I'll give you a schedule. For example, let me take the first week. So this first week is going to begin from tomorrow and every week from Monday to Sunday, right? So it is, uh, you know, as you can see, August 21 to 27. So August 21 to 27, what I've done here, I've given you a schedule from Monday till Saturday, right? So what I've done here is week one, the topic is G Pharma, right? And guys, I've divided G Pharma into, you know, six parts from Monday all the way till Saturday. And I've given you a target every day, which you would need, for example, 1.5 to 2 hours. So in first day, you're going to cover introduction and root of drug administration. Second day, absorption distribution from pharmacokinetics. Third day, metabolism and excretion. Fourth day, pharmacodynamics then drug development, then TDM, ADR, pharmacovigilance, the miscellaneous part. So by doing this in one week, you'll be able to cover entire pharmacology, not at one go, but bit by bit. I've divided the topic of even general pharma into these many parts so that I'm going to cover it gradually every day, right? Now see how this works or how can I get maximum benefit by using it? For that, you have to understand there is a rule. There is a set rule you have to follow while following weekly pharmacology. How it goes. See, it's simple pretty much which I've drawn here. Day one. So the day one topic, you have to read for 1.5 to 2 hours, whatever time you have. Now, whatever whatever you know platform you're following, whatever teacher you're following, you don't have to change that. I'm not saying you have to study only from me. Wherever or whatever you have, you study pharma from that. And you would need 1.5 to 2 hours for a particular subtopic. That is the way I have divided those. Now the, now, the most important part, it begins from day 2 and day 3. Suppose I read a particular topic in day 1, 1.5 to 2 hours. Day 2, I would make sure that I would revise that particular thing that I studied yesterday for 15 to 20 minutes. Then, while I move on to day 3, I will re-revise or you can say I would overlook just for five minutes whatever I have studied day before yesterday. So what it does is I read day one, I revise day two, I re-revise day three. Now this is what is going to make my subject pharma rock solid and this is going to help us. Now why, why this is going to be a game changer for pharma? So try to understand. Whenever I'm reading a subject, next day I'm revising that, then next day re-revising. And essentially how much time I need, I need lesser time. How it helps, say number one, it increases retention. Because you're not only reading, you're revising as well and re-revising. You try to understand whenever we prepare for a competitive exam, at the end of the day, what matters the most is how much I remember after I complete a subject. Second part, this retention, whenever retention improves, you can score better in the GT's grand test. Ultimately, what happens is the weakest subject, whatever subject it might be, it becomes strongest. So our quest here, it is to make pharma the strongest possible subject among 90 subjects. And it is possible. You might ask your seniors who have followed this weekly pharma and how have they come out on top after this. Finally, it makes our revision easier. So you know the end game of any competitive exam is revision for the last two to three months where you have to revise two to three times the entire content. Now many times it might happen that you read a subject, you're done with it, 
but on the time of revision when you look back at that subject everything is gone vanished now that is not gonna happen i promise you whenever you go to revision at last you go through pharma you'll remember a lot of stuffs yes and your life would become much easier in a volatile subject like pharma now see guys this plan we have to follow week after week after week it is divided into 10 weeks two and a half months and by the end of two and a half months when you look back at your journey when you look back at the topics you have covered in pharma when you look back at the drugs you have studied in pharma in this two and a half months by the end where you'll be standing and when you look back you'll remember a lot of things you'll remember a lot of things even after five six months whenever your exam is and you're planning for revision that is how this works now why this plan right why this plan how could i devise this right see whenever you throw a particular doubt at me i try to find the inspiration in my my life's journey to find what i did so i'll tell you for me three subjects which were most volatile one was pharma one was micro one was biochemistry so while i was studying these subjects i kind of understood i have to devise i have to reinvent myself otherwise i would not remember a lot of stuff so for these three subjects i followed this particular style right and obviously it helped a lot in pharma micro and biochemistry and all of you would agree what i'm trying to say about these three subjects why we, we medicos we fear a lot these three volatile subjects right now who the next doubt comes is uh, how am i supposed to use this right who is supposed to use this now try to understand I'll, I'll be conducting these session i mean from monday to saturday monday to saturday does not matter right number one students are those who have let us say there is one student who has completed pharma right completed pharma from online from offline does not matter but you are weak in pharma and you are not able to wrap your head around what to do so what do you need to do every day just cover this much of pharma on sundays I'll come live if time permits or if I have some classes or other commitments, I'll premiere a video. I'll premiere a video where there would be 15 or 20 questions. These would be new questions so that you can test your cortex as to how much you have retained during these last six days from Monday to Saturday. So category one students are those who have studied pharma, but they are weak in pharma. You can segregate and you, you can go about that, right? Now category two students who are strong in pharma, suppose you are strong in pharma and uh, you don't need to segregate them you just want some kind of a timetable to wrap up pharma so what you can do is you can ju just take friday and saturday and you can you can take you know one one hour on friday one hour on saturday because you're strong in pharma i hope you'll be able to wrap up general pharma in these two days and then you can on sunday you can watch the premiere or the live session this is for category two students now category three students category three students are those uh, um, who have not yet started pharma at all and they are yet to start pharma so see if pharma you feel you had been a weak student in pharma from your undergraduate times you can follow this whatever platform you are following you can just segregate these follow this weekly pharmacology and try to cover pharma gradually right from whatever app you are following whatever teacher you are following it does not matter i'm just giving you a breakup of the timetable which will help you to be on track and complete pharma on track and that to not complete it in a bolus way let us say I'll complete pharma in 10 days. No, I would not do that. I would rather complete it in two and a half months, dividing sub dividing every subject and topic so that I can master them better. And if I don't cover pharma in a bolus way, what happens is the retention increases. What I said earlier, I guess. So this is one of the basic idea of why I do weekly pharmacology. Now, who should not do this? If you're too damn goddamn strong in pharma, it is one of your, you know, biggest uh, weapon in your arsenal of 19 subjects then you don't need me you don't need this weekly pharma right then what can we do yeah, what can you do possibly if you're strong in pharma and you don't need this weekly pharma you might be weak in some other subject you might be weak in micro or biochemistry or let us say medicine so you can you know uh, tailor make this particular timetable in a similar manner in a similar fashion and use it for any subject in which you are weakest in so guys the end story is this by the end of these two and a half months if you follow this particular timetable honestly which i'm gonna post every week week after week for the next two and a half months this is my raw promise to all of you guys 
you will come out as a winner at the end because you will be able to master a volatile subject, a huge subject like pharma. It would be on your tips. The only thing you need to do is believe in yourself, believe in me, believe in this plan and keep working forward gradually. This plan is not going to give you instant results. It will take its time. But when you get the results, they would be phenomenal. That is something I can promise you. So guys, I always try to do my bit from my side to keep you guys on track, to guide you guys. And this is all about weekly pharmacology. Now see, if you guys have any you know suggestions uh, regarding this weekly pharmacology, please do let me know in the comment box. And all the best to begin the weekly pharmacology from the next uh, next day that is from monday tomorrow it is beginning so monday to saturday cover general pharma sunday i probably will not be there uh, in delhi so i'll premiere a video with the 15 questions mcqs from general pharma and all of them there will be new mcqs they have never been asked but yes the topic is same you know all, you know what is, what does it mean right the topics are same they have been asked but I have made new MCQs which can test your knowledge because there is no point in asking those PYQs to all of you guys because you know now it is the trend of exam is changing. And finally guys, uh, a lot of FMG students they asked me to include them in this weekly pharma because earlier I used to conduct it only for NEET PG and INA set. But this time I delayed it little bit so that even the FMG students can be benefited or uh, because we will be complete, completing this uh, exercise in the month of October. right? November you'll have INI set. So a student preparing for INI set can do this. December probably will have FMG exam. So student preparing for uh, December FMG exam can use this schedule. And obviously the NEET PG exam, which I don't know uh, completely, I'm not sure, but most it will happen in the month of March, I think. So obviously you guys can use it. You can use it as uh, uh, you know a tool to complete Pharmac if, if you have not completed. You can use it as a tool to revise Pharmac once again. If you have revised already, you can use it as a tool to re-revise Pharmac. At the end of the day, our aim is to score maximum number of MCQs possible in any exam. We need PG, FMG, INI set, does not matter. So guys, more power to all of you and I'll see you guys next Sunday and I'll post the schedule for next week as well, guys. Take care, lots of love, bye-bye.